They say, down at the deepest and smallest levels, that the universe is run in a never-ending series of probabilistic decisions. And for every decision that is made, two universes are born, each playing out a different outcome. Out there, in the mind-staggeringly infinite size of possibilities, there must be a me. A me out there, enjoying his old life, sat down on the grass, having a cocktail. I wonder if he wonders, of all the different possibilities his life could have taken, whether he would know that this barren wasteland is there for a significant proportion of his futures. Or indeed, how many other me's are out there, a little bit ahead, or a little bit behind, where I am. If only there was a way to reach out across all the possibility spaces, talk to each other, share ideas and thoughts. But instead we're all here, stranded by the solo nature of causality. Hey guys and welcome back to Post for Nem. I am down the back end of my hovel and you guys would have noticed, well I know you've noticed because a few have been asking, that I have not been playing Post for Nem for the past week or so. This is because, well, horror of horrors, my recording hard drive completely crashed out. Um, I lost all the data on it. I, I had like top crack teams of like recovery experts on it and stuff like that and, and they still couldn't do much. Which means um, I lost about half an episode of Post for Nem. I've been dr all of this week was spent trying to get that back uh, and, and I couldn't so I've had to just kind of go from here you'll notice that a lot of things are different this is because when I was just kind of standing here looking around deciding what I was going to do for an episode just at the beginning of last episode uh, a blue creeper blew up here now hopefully I'm putting on my video right now the devastation that a blue creeper causes. There was water and cobblestone everywhere. Not only was there water and cobblestone, but a lot of the cobblestones were actually silverfish spawns, um, like monster egg generators, uh, stuff like that. So I had a, a great time there. I'd not lost any lives. Uh, let's let's go and have a look. You can see I'm not. I did a lot of running around, uh, screaming, running backwards whilst swiping my axe at them. Um, so yeah, this is all good. Another thing that I noticed that I could do is complete a quest. Uh, I did technically complete the quest, but when I'd figured out what had happened, I went back to the oldest save I had of the game, and that was the one with this one here. So the, the trace materials, I actually did that, but I went back to, to this save where I didn't do it. Uh, another problem I'm having is I'm trying to make this place look nice, uh, and I want to move all this over here, but obviously I can't I can't break this because it's got power in it. I think the crescent hammer is what I need for that, or if not the crescent hammer, the unitool or something like that. I think that's the the mine chem one. And, and beside that, I'm just kind of making this place look nice. So I think we're gonna start on a strong note. I think it's time that we're gonna start with um, with this this quest right here. We're gonna get some silver, gold, and copper. Hopefully we've got the silver, gold, and copper. What we got here? We got platinum. Uh, we got some gold. That, did that come out? Right, let's right click gold, silver, copper, and I think the last one was lead. Do we have lead anywhere? I believe lead belongs down here somewhere. I don't think we've got any. Okay, we can deal with that. We can deal with that quickly. I took sil two silver out. Let's get let's get the copper. Boom. Okay, we can deal with that quite quickly. Somewhere over here, I should have access to a whole load of stone and, and stuff like this. Oh, look, I've got a couple of monster eggs. That That's something weird that happened. When it, when it exploded, there was two of these just kind of sat on the floor. So, well, we got that. Um, what else can we get stuff out of? Cobble. Let, let's see if we've got any lead in any of these. Uh, unless we've got any lead in there. No, we haven't. Okay. So, let, let's just do these down quickly. Still no lead, most unfortunate. Let's take all the iron stuff out and we can pop it back in uh, and get more iron if need be. This magnetite again. Uh, did we get any lead? We did not get any lead. Uh, just hold on a second, I'm going to try and make some lead. 
Okay, we got a little bit of lead there. Brilliant. Okay, which means we can not go into my food journal. Go into the quest book. And what are we going to get here? Now, I think the leadstone flux capacitor is a great idea because food we can make. Like, look, have you have you seen my foods? Have you seen my foods? Uh, so, I, yeah, I think the leadstone flux capacitor. We've not lost any lives this time around because I'm being a lot more scared. Um, all right, let's try and remember where lead got. Now, if I, I, I think it's there. It might be there. It might not be there. Uh, we'll, we'll go back and figure out. A complete periodic table, obviously. Uh, it does steal my frames like you would not believe. Uh, almost everywhere else in this game, I'm running around a, you know, a, a cool 60 frames or something like that. I walk into this area, and I'm currently running at 27. Just popped up to 33. But yeah, it's not... It's not ideal. Let's just pop these away. I don't need to turn this into stuff yet. Okay, so with that quest done, I think I'm going to go away, scratch my head about what we're going to do to make the rest of this place look uh, pretty, and then try and figure out exactly what I'm going to do from this point onwards. Oh, well, something crazy just happened. I was going around sort of like knocking some blocks out, putting some limestone up there, and I decided to take the uh, the marble block out that was under here, and these two just fell down. I Heart in my mouth. I thought we were going to lose all the power in them, get, 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 lose the stuff out from under here. Ooh, that, that, was, that was crazy. I just wanted to express my, uh, my flusteredness at that. Alright guys, so we've been uh, making this place look a little bit better. I've got some like wooden flooring down. I, I quite like the way this bit here works. Uh, and this obviously all looks very nice here. I'm nowhere near done though. I mean, I kind of like to get rid of these bits of obsidian and make this go round. I'd like to put a bedroom in somewhere. Uh, I think I'd, another thing I'd like to do is put a stairway going down here. Maybe down to another floor of the similar sort of area. Maybe we'll move our farms down there and just have this as a, as a welcome area with the... the, the chemical stuff there things to do yeah that that would be all amazing uh, another thing you guys might notice is that i've got a, a brand new shiny sword in my hand uh this cost me a lot of iron and carbon this is a, a steel sword uh cost me two steel at the top and then a bit of iron down below for the handle uh this was because i was having great slime troubles there was there were many slime out here and i was having to attack them and get stuff this, this does mean i've got a whole load of slime balls in my chest now Go and have a look. Like I got, I got many, many things off of things now. There were the, like these were the grape slimes. Then we got watermelon slimes, and there was just ordinary slimes as well. Uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff uh, just happened there. So that leads me to think that I'm not very safe here. I don't feel very safe here. I could definitely do with a bit more safe defying happening. So if we have a look in the quest book, we've got this defenses bit. So we open that up brilliant uh what we've got here is either we can do our guns and ammo up which would be great but at the same time i've got a sword you know I, the, the the whole guns thing it's not really that effective uh, I, at least i haven't found it to be that effective this gun here anyway maybe, maybe if we make some of these more powerful ones we'll, we'll find more effective stuff wow i'm getting cold i should deal with that the thing we're going to deal with first though is getting this fence wire done We've just got a crafting task to do. Clearly the things living in, living here are not happy to see you. Make some barbed wire or even some razor foot wire fence to keep them from making you lunch. Yeah, that, that's my plan. Uh, so this fence wire, we've got it in here. Uh, I've, I've already searched it up because, you know, I need to know how these things work, really. Uh, it's three iron ingots or three metal ingots. So far we've got, like, tin, aluminium or iron. Uh, if we turn to our storage area, you'll see that we've got 187 iron. Bear in mind it takes 15 per ingot. Uh, 16 per ingot? Yeah, 16 per ingot. So, you know, many ingots there. Unfortunately, the tin, we've got 28. So, like, that's not even the three. Or aluminium, which is the other one, uh, that's 23. So th that's no good. We're just going to have to uh, take some iron, I think. There we go. Brilliant. We'll make up a few iron. Oh, look, there we go. Uh, we've already got some on the go there. This will be from making the sword. So we want three of these and a bouton, which I think is in here somewhere. Or at least a bit of wood to enable us to make the bouton. Uh, back into my inventory. been playing a lot of uh, Seven Days to Die, so I keep hitting tab to go into my inventory, which is uh, no good. No good at all. Uh, so I was going to make a crescent hammer and find out if that would actually work here. Uh, I'm almost tempted to say I actually want to go... Ooh, what's this? Rusty ladder. Ew. Uh, boom. Always tempted to go off into, like, make a copy of the world, make a crescent hammer, and then see if that would actually work here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we did the crafting touch. Is that it? Is that all we needed to do? I was expecting more. So we're going to get eight iron ingots, which is a, a bonus. Uh, and, oh, I don't know, barbed wire, razor wire. I mean, razor wire sounds more vicious. Should we get that? Go. 
So the next thing I want to know is what can we do with the razor wire? Uh, we can decompose it into to stuff, okay? Structural... Uh, structural duct. Okay, uh, we can make that to make six razor wire covers. I don't think we were trying to make covers. So do we just put it on the floor? Is that is that how it works? I don't want to go out there with it in the hand. Okay. Oh, pops carrot. Pops carrot. Uh, so where where's important? Where do we get jumped from? Like I, I think along this top edge here. This is this is something that. Oh, oh, oh so it works like iron, um, like panes. Pain. Um, yeah, no, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's do that. Do you think that's going to be a good start? I think that's a good start. And then we'll do another one along this side. Uh, and I think we're going to need more at some point. I think we're definitely going to need more at some point. So this uh, rock up here, I can't remember whether it was this episode or last episode I showed you this, guys. Um, but this up here is what got left from the from the blue creeper. Now you'll notice that some of them are cobblestone brick, whilst others are just cobblestone. And that is because these ones easily changeable, these ones not changeable. Which to me, as I've explained, I think in the past, means that there are silverfish in there. Now I would love to just go through and take them out. And oh look, there's water. Ah, what what do we have to fill this up with? Uh, cobblestone. There we go. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'd love to go around and just take these out, but I've got a feeling I would end up getting my uh, my buttocks handed to me by some silverfish. I mean, you know, no, no one wants to get handed to by some some insects. Uh, these are all good. These aren't all good. Just going around finding out which ones. Um, yeah. Okay. So we've done razor wire. We've done a bit of protection. What well, should we have a look at this this gun quest? Hey, let's let's go through here. Hopefully that will lead to some death. Or maybe I should have put another bit down there. I mean, things do get caught. You see that little hole there? In fact, let's go back out. You see this this little hole here? Things do get caught in there. So maybe we want to do something like that. What do we do with this? What is the the, the rest of the Oh my. Oh. Oh wow. It's not cheap, is it? So that's barbed wire with a single bit of iron. Uh, and this is ingots with the razor wire. I've got a feeling with the number of... Let me through the door. Why won't it let me through? There we go. Uh, with the number of ingots we got and the number of bits of, um, of fence we've got, that should be two. Yeah, like four to, six, four to three, which means I've got six and I've got eight. Okay, so it definitely wants us to make this barbed wire here. Uh, oh, so it's kind of shapeless. Kind of shapeless. I don't understand why... Hang on a minute. Oh, this is razor wire. Okay, so we're, we're, about, we're supposed to make razor wire. Should we make some more razor wire? I, th I think we're going to make some more razor wire. So we put this across the middle. No, not like that. This across the middle. Uh, there, up, and across. Boom, more razor wire. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it as yet. I'm going to pop it in, not my food chest, in my building chest. Uh, and we will figure out what to do with it. I need an items chest. This this is kind of like my buildings, uh, my wood, stuff like that. Uh, I definitely need something for like these, these vials and the flint and this, this ender fragment, whatever the ender fragment is. Ooh, okay, all, all, all go here. It is all go here. Um, I think... I think it's time to start digging this little tunnel out from under here. Um, I'd, I'd want to get this lot moved. Uh, that, that's definitely uh, a thing. Uh, have I made an axe? I've not made an axe. Uh, I broke mine, unfortunately, a little while ago. Fighting the silverfish, as you'd uh, imagine. So I'm going to, yeah, make a little 3x3 three three stairway down here. Possibly with a... Uh, a landing and a switch back. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're to try and dig down here. Mainly, I'm worried for the silverfish. That that is obviously my biggest concern. The next question I need to answer is: Do we go down single steps like this, or do we make some actual steps? Let's let's go and have a look and see what what we've got here. We can we can make some actual steps. Let's make some actual steps. Uh, let's pop that back. What what other stuff do I have on me that we don't need? Let's just get rid of all this. Okay, great, brilliant. Brilliant. Good top job and all that sort of stuff. Right, let's pop these in here like that. That should give us enough to make a fairly decent stairway. Fairly decent. And thankfully, we're not going through stone. So we're just going to uh, going to be digging out gravel. No, gra so the reason I don't like going through stone is obviously the silverfish. Silverfish are everywhere. They are like possibly the biggest bane in this, this so far. Um, they're definitely the, the biggest threat to my life. Um, like the sp the skeletons, or sorry, cyborgs as they're, as they're called in this, and the zombies and stuff like that. No real biggie. The creepers creeping up on me and making a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that that was that was trouble. Um, but I think 
we're all good. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this down, I'm gonna stop waffling on, and I will come back when we've got that, and possibly when I figured out whether the crescent hammer work. Definitely gonna go to another world and test that out because I don't I don't, don't want to lose the only the only power I've got. I mean, I've got the the that flux capacitor, but well, it's not enough. It's not enough. I knew putting the uh, the barbed wire up there would be good. Come on, mate, jump onto it. No, is he not? Oh, I don't want I don't want to walk out the door to make this happen. Come on, jump on it. Okay, so we need to move the barbed wire up a up a floor or up a space. Is he even gonna jump on it? No. There's there's like skeletons around and stuff like that. Oh, go. he just jumped right on it. He literally just jumped right on it. I think we need to replace our barbed wire and move it somewhere else. Uh, you will notice that I'm getting a bit a bit cold. Uh, I think I've just suffered from hypothermia. So let's uh, bust out my my torch and pop this down. Now, the problem I've got with this torch. Is wherever I put it, I'm probably going to set fire to something uh, wooden. So I just kind of have to stand here, wait for my, my temperature to go up. Be very, very mindful that, you know, any of these could set on fire. This could set on fire. I just kind of have to stand around and watch. Uh, I'm going to eat a triglyceride because, once again, it just... It completely robs me of any need to eat. Like, so if we look in my food journal here, we, we've got like toasted sandwiches and stuff like that. Nothing really to, to talk home about. But if I now eat my triglyceride, boom, all the way up to full saturation. Oh, and I put my book in there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. And then we've like, it's not on here anymore. I've, I've only got the two things. So like this whole uh, diminishing returns on the food thing, triglyceride is totally a way to get around it. I have not eaten for a long time. I've not eaten any real food for a long time. Uh, so another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I was emptying out this area under here for gravel, and I found one of these. Well, actually, this was up there. And it was when I started digging around it that it fell down to the floor. It's obviously, like these, still subject to uh, gravity. Um, now, if we have a look in the quest book, come out of here into the life rebooted. I do believe somewhere we've got the bugging thing. Okay. While digging around under the ground, you may encounter an insect hive. Yes, yes, we did. These bugs are the descent of cultured bees and could be highly useful to you since they're excellent foragers you may also find another variation of the species in water okay so there's some water ones as well that, that, that's good you need to craft a scoop in order to collect bees once you have a scoop you'll be able to break hives and collect bees inside okay so let's let's try that oh, look we get to we get to get a diamond and look at all that bronze i don't i don't know what the, oh. oh i was hoping someone was on my barbed wire then oh well we're definitely gonna have to check that out do we do we I think I'm gonna go out once 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 he stops dying from fire. Let's, let's go and have a look. Uh, up round here somewhere should be able to get some stuff. Oh look, there's a, a dead slime there. We'll, we'll grab that. Uh, I don't know what he killed himself on. I don't think it was my barbed wire. Uh, I'm not sure what we can pick up the barbed wire with. Um, we'll, we'll have to try and figure that out. Like, what what causes the damage here? Do they have to be in this block? Is that what's the, what's the, what's the deal here? What's the deal here? No damage is taken. Um, something wrong here? All right. Anyway, well, I'll, I'll, someone can explain to me whether this is what's supposed to happen or not, um, or what I've done wrong. Obviously, I've done something wrong. Ow. Obviously, I've done something wrong. All right. The next thing we were going to do. <laughs> totally sidetracked. We were going to uh, get a scoop on the go. Do we have some string? Not enough to make any wool. Uh, that's that's a shame. Any wool in here? Okay, so we're gonna have to try and make some wool, I think. Well, we need to make a scoop. Let's double check how a scoop is made first. I, I do kind of remember, but it's definitely something... Oh, look, the scoop turbo. I don't think we need that. And so it's just a single bit of wool. Um, a single bit of wool is string. We, we don't want that. Uh, some glycerines and some colour. Some glycerines and some colour. Now, do you think the glycerines are in the glycerides? Is, is that something we can find out? Let's let's try it. Let's have a look. Glitter rolls. Ah, it was close. It was close. It's not quite what we're after. That's a that's a, a great shame. Uh, let's break all these down into bits, and then we'll take it all over to the um, chemical synthesis machine, and we'll use this stuff to make the glycerin and stuff like that. Okay, right. So coming around here, <coughs> it's all it's all go here, isn't it? All go here. Right. We want. Into here, into here. No, not into that. Wow, I went too far. Help. Uh, uh, into here, into here. Left. Glycerine. C2H5NO2. Brilliant. 
One, two. How many of these do we need? There's two for every titanium oxide. We only want one. Do we have a titanium oxide anywhere? Let's go and have a look over here. We should have something somewhere. I think that one is titanium oxide. Silicon dioxide. That's not good. Uh, no, we don't want the glycine. We want that one. No, that's a nitrate. That's no good. Um, what did what did we just pick out here? Titanium dioxide. There we go. Wow. Took a while, but there we go. We, we are finally there. Uh, let's clear all this out. Put one of those in. One of those. Bit of wool. Wow. So much so much time spent. So much time spent. Let's grab a few of these. Make a load of sticks. I like I don't think we could have enough sticks. Do you think we could have enough sticks? Look at all those flint we got. Uh so we'll pop that bomb. Okay, oh, it's all coming flooding back now. We're gonna go down and just beat this up. Just beat this up. Right. We got those. Brilliant. I'm gonna run away from that bug stinging area. Uh we've got these two. Alright, is that is that all we needed? Rewards, honeycomb, rocky princess. We're going to get another rocky princess. Nice. Now, diamond, bronze ingot, energy cells. Now, these bronze looks good, but I don't... Uh, ooh, kind of... I think the bronze is going to be more useful, but diamonds. But diamonds. Or diamond. <laughs> all right, cool. We're going to pop all these in here. We'll figure out what to do with the bees in a second. I am... Why doesn't, why doesn't the razor wire hurt me? Why doesn't the razor wire hurt me? 40 bits of slime ball, though. That's not bad. It's not bad. We are definitely pushing on strong there. Right, I, I will be back once again when I found something else that actually needs to do. I'm, you know, I'm going to carry on coming down here, turn around here, and go that way, I think. Yeah, we we got, we got enough room. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to carry on digging, think about somewhere to put all my tools, and I will see you guys in a momento. Wow, time got away from us a little bit there, didn't it? I was just kind of plodding along, making my own little like additions to this place and stuff, and I was like, oh wait, I've already recorded about twenty minutes worth of stuff. So yeah, there we go, guys. What a uh, what an episode. What what did we get to? Well, we made some barbed wire, and we didn't really do much with it, unfortunately. Even to the point of being able to jump alongside it. Oh, I, I I ran the wrong way. I should have gone the other way. Uh, even to the point where we can just like run up and jump upon it. Let's just prove this here. I mean, like, how rubbish is that? Uh, we have built a nice floor. We've made everything look good. We've started um, exploring downwards. The problem with downwards is, look, we've got some silverfish here. Uh, like, it should turn into a stone brick like that, but it doesn't. So we're going to have to think about how we're going to deal with that. Uh, and we've also found out, even though it's not on video because it was such a disappointment, that the crescent hammer just doesn't work on this. It's quite happily to pick the, it will quite happily pick this back up for us. Uh, and I'm not sure if we could use this to suck the power out. I don't, I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're going to do a whole load of stuff and carry on with some more quests and things and stuff. And then I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!